Lesson six, not too bad. Um, uh, basically, lesson six is identifying pairs of angles. Okay. So um, basically a pair of angles can sometimes be classified by their combined measure, okay? So what do two right angles form, two adjacent right angles form? So here's, here's 90, here's another 90. What kind of angle is that? It's a line. It's a line or a straight angle. It's 180 degrees, okay? All right, so let's go back to this. You guys know this, two angles are blank if their sum of their measures, if the, if the sum of their what measures. Is this a theorem? No, definition, 90 degrees. And two angles are blank if their sum is 180 degrees. You guys remember those words? IQ up to Nope. Oh, really? Oh, they add up to 90 degrees. Right. They are... Complimentary. Complimentary, that's right. Okay? Here's a good way to remember it. If you uh, and your boyfriend or girlfriend compliment each other, that is the right relationship. <laughs> There it is. So if they form a right, if they add up to a right angle, then it's they're complementary angles. What if they add up to 180? If they add up to a straight angle, what's that called? Non-complementary. Supplementary. That's right. Okay. Supplement. What are supplements? Vitamins. Yes, vitamins that will kind of fill in the blanks with the food that you're not getting. And we used to do Juice Plus. Anyone knew do Juice Plus? <laughs> <laughs> so Juice Plus, it's like all the fruits and vegetables you need and pills so you never have to eat fruits and vegetables apparently. So they kind of supplement your diet to make sure you're getting all the nutrients that you need, right? So supplementary means whatever it takes to make it, um, uh, to keep your path straight. Straight angles, just wow. never mind. Okay, all right, so, <laughs> so let's look up at the screen at example one. Okay, so look at example one. All right, what is the complement? Uh, oh, where'd you go? Find the angles complementary to KLM. So if you see KLM here, KLM. So what angles are complementary to KLM? Can you see it? JLK. JLK, so see how JLK and KLM form a 90 degree angle, okay? Um, here's something that uh, is a, this is a typo in this geometry book. See how there's no way to tell that KLN is a right angle. So this is called a typo because you can't say that MLN is, is complementary to KLM because you haven't been given, even though it looks like a right angle, KLN looks like a right angle, it doesn't say it is because there's no fancy square there, okay? It doesn't say that um, KLN is a right angle, so you can't say that MLN is a complement to KLM, even though that's what the solution says, okay? Uh, all right, moving on. This is like the first edition to the Saxon Geometry. There is no second edition, because they just gave up. They just moved on. So um, we're making it work because we like Saxon. 
So, uh, compliments. Okay, so here's theorem 6 1. Theorem 6 1 says this. This is, this is actually the congruent complements theorem. When I say complements, I don't mean you're pretty. Okay? The congruent complements. If two angles are complementary, to a third or the same angle, to the same angle, then they have to be congruent. Um, why is there an I with an equal sign? Besides the thing. Where? It's right there. What is like an I, I equals two sign. Oh, two. that's, that, you can't, my marker died there. So, <laughs> if. I, so wait, is that the congruent complement? Yeah, if two angles are complementary to the same angle, then they are congruent. Okay, so for example, like in this case here, if this is the case, so see how here's angle one, two, and three. See how angle one is complementary to two? and angle three is complementary to two. So what can you see about one and three? They're congruent, okay? They have to be the same measurement. Okay, and then six two is called the um, congruent supplements theorem. So in that case, you're just it's just the same as the complements, but if two angles are supplementary to the same angle, then they're congruent to each other, okay? So I'm not gonna write that out. Just know that 6-2 is the supplements theorem. Congruent supplements theorem, okay? All right, look at uh, example two with me. And usually in geometry, I'm going to just refer to these because a lot of times this is difficult to draw. It's not too hard here, but... I believe in you. Yeah. Okay, here's example two. Solving with, two com with complements and supplements, okay? So find the measures of the angles labeled X and Y. All right? So let's look through this together. So it looks like... 55 and X are complementary, right? So what would X be? So see how 55 degrees, so DBF is complementary to FBE, or the angle that measures 55 is complement complementary to X. So what's X? 35. 35, good math, good subtraction. All right, and then it says, what's Y? Well, how do you figure out what Y is? You kind of think it might be 50, but let, let's see what happens. So you got 90, that whole thing, DBE, is now 90. Are we because, finding out what 90 is? So 90 plus 40 is 130, and then that Y, and remember, everything has to add up to 180, because that's supplement, one big supplement. So it's, so it's 50 well. degrees, that's right. Got so do you guys see that? So X has to be 35 because 55 plus 35 equals 90. See that little square there? That tells you it's a right angle. And then, so now you have 90 plus 40 so far in that whole straight angle. So that's 130. What else do you need to make it a full 180? You need 50 more degrees. See how we did that? This is kind of like finding the third angle in a triangle or things like that. So you have to add them all up and figure out what you need to make a full 180. Okay. Um, all right. Where are we at? Almost done. Kind of. Keep on saying I do keep on saying it, but we're okay. We're okay. All right. So we already talked about this. 
but the uh, adjacent angles are two angles in the same plane that share the same vertex and the side. Okay, but they do not share any interior points. So that's kind of what we have to say when we define adjacent angles. Adjacent angles. So two angles in the same plane, they have to be in the same plane, that share the same vertex, vertex aside and aside but no interior points. Okay, and here's why we have to say, but no interior points. So in this case, angles one and two are adjacent, right? We already knew that because they're next door neighbors, but they share the same vertex and they share this side. So they share this side and they share this vertex. And they don't have any interior points in common. Okay? So, I could say uh, that this whole thing is angle three. Angle three is the whole thing together, right? But see how angle three and angle one share the same side and the same vertex. So you can't just say they share the same side and same vertex. So you have to say that there are no interior points in common. But again, what does your gut tell you? Well, yeah, you, the, it's not, a, these are adjacent because they're next door neighbors. Let's get over it, okay? So most of this guys is just using your gut and understanding what adjacent angles, I think you guys have a grasp already of adjacent angles. Are you good with adjacent angles? They're next door, they just touch each other. They're next to each other, okay? Good? All right. So, um, yeah, so one is adjacent to two. One is adjacent to angle two. Okay. All right. Um, here's the deal. Here's a, a linear pair. Now, this is a weird word, but you, this is going to come up a lot. These are adjacent angles that form basically a, they're supplementary. They form a straight line. Adjacent angles whose um, Adjacent angles whose non-common sides form a straight line. These, this is so much easier to show you than to explain it. Boom, boom. Angle five and six are adjacent angles that whose non-common sides form a straight line, okay? So what can we also say about five and six? What kind of angles are they? 180. They're, well, five and six are not 180, but they're what kind of angles? Straight. They are adjacent, but more specifically, they are linear pair. Linear pair. And they're also which is the last thing we're gonna talk about, actually. Yeah. What kind of angles are five and six? Acute. One of them is oh, acute. Just kidding. What do they add up to? Okay, so what kind of angles are they? Straight. No. That whole thing is a straight angle. I'll guess until I get it right. If two angles add up to 180, what are they? Right, adjacent. Two angles add up to 90 degrees, what are they? Right. Complementary. So if they add up to 180, what are they? Supplementary. Supplementary. That's right. Wow. Okay. 
That was that took a while. That's okay. There's a lot of there's a lot of words. Okay. So non-adjacent angles formed by two intersecting lines are vertical angles. Okay. These are vertical angles. If vertical angles, let me just show tell you, and then I'll show you, and then you'll never forget vertical angles. Well, you might formed by two intersecting lines. Okay, blop and blop. So these are, but you have to say non-adjacent angles because the non there's four angles that form here, aren't there? Non-adjacent angles formed by intersecting lines. So angle one and angle three are vertical. There's also another pair of vertical angles. What are they? So one and three are vertical. See how they're not adjacent, but they're formed by these intersecting lines. So one and three are vertical. They're kind of what we would call opposite facing angles. There's another pair of vertical angles. What is, what is the oh, other pair? One and, one and three and two and four, two and four that's right. Two and four are also vertical angles. Okay, what does your gut tell you about all vertical angles? All vertical angles are? Vertical. Vertical. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's a good guess, but see how two and four are also oh, vertical angles? Vertical. One and three are acute, two and four are obtuse. But how does one relate to three? Equal. They look the same, congruent. Two and four are also congruent. So all vertical angles are congruent. Okay, that's what theorem 6-4 says. Theorem 6-4 says vertical angles are congruent. Okay, real quick, one more example and then we're done. Okay, we're gonna do example four and then I'm gonna just show you five, but we probably, again, it's probably real life stuff that we don't care about. Okay, solving with vertical angles. All right, well, since we know that they're equal, you can just set these two, these two expressions equal to each other, okay? So I'm gonna do this math, you don't have to do it, but basically this is example four. Since these are vertical angles, I can set these measurements equal to each other. Y plus 17 has to equal 2Y, what is that, minus 81? So now how do I solve for Y? It's algebra. It's simple, but you move Y to one side. Yeah, so we're gonna- Get rid of uh, yeah, I'm going to get rid of this smaller variable term, so I'm going to get rid of y on this side. So I'm left with 17 equals just one y over here now, minus 81. And then to get rid of that y by itself, we're going to add 81 to both sides. Okay, so we get 98, so y equals 98. Does that mean that's what the angle equals? No, then we just plug in y. If we want to figure out the angle, we plug in y. So, so that means angle three. What is angle three equal? Measurement of angle three equals, well, plug in 98 17. for y. 17, right? Ooh, this is not, this is not drawn well, is it? No, it's not. You draw better. <laughs> Yeah, that's not drawn well. So to get, you just add 17 to y to get that. Um, and so I get 115, I think. That does not look, angle three does not look like a 115 degree angle. Um, but let's just check it, check it on the other side to make sure. Two times y, so that's 196 minus 81 is gonna be 115 too. So yeah, we did the math right. The drawing's just horrible. 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 Okay, so how do you find X? How do you find X? 
do the same thing. Same thing. So 2x minus 5 has to equal x plus 30, right? So let's get rid of this x. So x minus 5 equals, we're just left with 30 on that side. Add 5 to both sides. So x has to be 35. So that's what x is. That's not what the angle is because the angle is actually 2x minus 5 or x plus 30. Let's plug it into that bottom one. That looks easier. So angle 2 has to be x plus 30. Well, we know that x is 35. What's 35 plus 30? 65 degrees. Let's just check it in the top one. That has to be the same, right? So plug in 35 for x there. What's 2 times 35? 70. Good. Minus 5 is 70 minus 5 is 65. So it works. Okay. So vertical angles, I love vertical angles because they're easy. They're always equal to each other. Okay. Yes. Um, why are there algebra questions in our um, geometry? They're like the same thing, just one more stuff. Yeah, we're just utilizing the math that we already know. Congratulations. Good job. No Goodbye. Worry. Black math! Give me some math and I'll give you some flack. Black